Sup you guys, how we doing? And welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is Jacob, and uh, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Thank you for liking the video, because you've done that already, haven't you? Come on now. Nah, I'm just fucking with you, you can do what you like. But, what I'm here to do, is to have a look at Jason Pierre-Paul, defensive end for the Buccaneers. And when I think about the Buccaneers, just off the top of my head, I think offense. I think, you know... I can probably rattle off a fair few of the offensive players, but I can't do that on defense. Although, although the more I watch this series, the more I see different Buccaneers defensive players talking, the more I think that we're probably going to see a fair few Buccaneers defenders on this list, especially in this top 60. And it starts with Jason Pierre-Paul. So, defensive end for the Bucks. I am looking forward to this one. It's about time we crack into it. But before we do, a quick word from our exclusive video sponsor, Manscaped. Sup guys, it's Jacob here. Thank you, first and foremost, for clicking on my video. Secondly, this video is proudly brought to you by Manscaped. Now, Manscaped do have a complete range of products on their website, but their most recent product, and the one that I'm using at the moment, is this, the Lawnmower 4.0. So, not only is the packaging impressive, but apparently, it's a whole new balls game. And here it is now, the latest addition to Manscaped's incredible selection of male grooming products. I've been using the products for a good couple of weeks now. I love them. There's no way I'd be making this video if I didn't. Manscaped use ceramic blades with skin safe technology, which means there's absolutely no risk of nicks or cuts. In fact, you could probably do it blindfolded. Not only that, but you can do it in the shower also. It's completely 100% waterproof and it's even got an LED light. So power or no power, you can still get the job done. For those wondering, is it a tool just for the downstairs area? No, no it's not. It's actually good for your entire body, including your face. And for anyone wondering, that's the length. But if that's too short for you, there are four different trimmer guard options, which means four different lengths, which means if you really wanted to, you could probably even draw a picture. It looks good, it's waterproof, it's rechargeable with a 90 minute charge, and it's only one of the incredible selection of products on the manscaped.com website. So head over there, check out www.manscaped.com, use code JACOBD20, that's J-A-C-B-D-2-0, for 20% off your entire order. Join myself, your other favorite YouTubers, and over two million men worldwide happily using these products. Once again, head down into the description box below, click the link, check out the entire range of products, use my discount code, happy days. Enjoy the video guys, and peace out. And now that the formalities are over with, let's continue. You know, I, I got a chance to see it when we play with each other in Juca. Bit of HD would be nice. Excuse me? Excuse me, the NFL are bringing out videos without the ability to go 1080p? Fuck me dead. Just see how far he grown, to see all the uh, adversity he overcame, to come out there and still ball the way he ball. Tip your hat off to him, man. I got a lot of respect for JPP. That's my guy. Hearing that he's come through a fair amount of adversity rings a bell. I'm not going to look up his wiki yet. We're just going to wait and see. JPP, <laughs> JPP is 100% top 100. It's nothing that he didn't do this last year. He played the run. Get out of here, man. He played the pass. The ball is batted away. Jason Pierre-Paul. Sacked the quarterback. Breeze dropping under. He's sacked. And it's JPP. Caught interceptions. Bridgewater throws. Intercepted by Pierre-Paul, who dropped in coverage. Watch the athleticism of your big pass rusher. Eyes on the quarterback, drops right into that lane. He has such a good perspective on life, you know, especially after like, what happened, you know, years ago. He had two picks. And, like, he's giving the DBs hell for it. I'm like, I mean, he's right. Y'all got something to like, game up. He got eight, eight fingers or whatever it is, and he's getting picks. That was ready. Hey, hey. That was ready. Hey, hey. Get ready. My name is Form. Oh, what's your name, Devin? It's Mr. Relentless. Mr. Relentless and Mr. Eight Digits. Now that does ring a bell. And I'll be doing myself and you guys a complete disservice without knowing exactly what he has gone through before we watch the rest of this video. So that is what we will do. So Jason Pierre-Paul is a, a real veteran and he's a real big human too. He's six foot five, 275 pounds. Got picked up in the first round of the 2010 draft to the Giants. Spent eight seasons there. Transferred to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in 2018 and he's been there ever since. He is a two-time Super Bowl champion. One with the Giants, Eli Manning, and one with the Buccaneers last year. 
in Super Bowl 55. He played basketball in high school. After a serious leg injury, he took up football his junior year. And thank God he did. In college, he played at Fort Scott Community College, then transferred to the University of South Florida. And in 2009, played 13 games with 7 starts, totaled 45 tackles, 6.5 sacks, 1 interception, broke up 3 passes, and forced 2 fumbles. And that was in college. So when we think about what we've just heard about what he did last season in the NFL after being in the league for 10 years, he's still going out there and he's still making plays all over the field. I mean, it seems as if he hasn't stopped. He's 32 years of age. He's a real veteran. He runs a 478 40-yard dash, vertical over 30 inches, nine, almost 10 foot on the broad jump, 19 reps on the bench, and unfortunately, a Wonderlick score of 15. But as I continue reading, 2013, he had back surgery to remove a herniated disc. On July 4th, 2015, Pierre Paul sustained a serious hand injury in a fireworks accident at his home. After detonating a firework in his hand, blowing off, a, blowing off a significant portion of his finger. Four days later, he had his right index finger amputated. His right index finger. He signed a one-year deal with the team on October 27th. He was placed on the Giants' active roster on November 7th. He lost substantial weight in the hospital following the injury and had to play the season with a monstrous padded club on his injured hand, both of which adversely affected his play. And I've got to say, that, that so-called monstrous padded club certainly rings a bell. Before the 2016 season, Pierre Paul underwent further surgery on his hand, which allowed him to wear a glove instead of the cumbersome club which he wore in 2015. December 7th that same year, he underwent surgery for a sports hernia and was expected to be out six weeks but he ended up missing the rest of the season. 2017 season was very successful. 2018 season was very successful. 2019, he was involved in a single car accident and suffered a neck fracture due to not wearing a seatbelt that put his season in jeopardy. This guy really has gone through the wars. Came into the season in week eight, threw 10 games, had 27 tackles, eight and a half sacks, two passes defended, and two forced fumbles. That's in 10 games. Eight and a half sacks in 10 games. 2020 season, he signed a two-year, $27 million extension with the Bucks. Any injuries? No. 16 games played, 16 games started. 55 combined tackles, 34 solo, 21 assisted, 9.5 sacks, which brings his career total to 88.5. Two interceptions for 15 yards, six passes deflected, four forced fumbles, two fumble recoveries, and that was just the regular season. Then he played four postseason games, which were the games that piqued my interest. 13 combined tackles, 10 solo, 3 assisted, 2 sacks, 3 passes deflected, and a Super Bowl ring. When you step on that field, he's going to give you everything. When I mean everything, he's going to lay it out there on the Let's have a look at that glove. Line. For Jason Pierre-Paul, the 2020 regular season was just a warm-up. Jason Pierre-Paul! JPP showed up big time in that championship game. Hang on. Are you trying to say that not only do we have a playoff Lenny, we've also got a playoff Pierre Paul? Two sacks. Dropping back. Roger under pressure. He is sacked. Mm. Jason played like Jason Voorhees in the playoffs. In the Super Bowl, he just attacked those tackles against the Chiefs. <laughs> what? I'm trying. I'm trying to. Uh, I'm trying to get a good, a good look at this glove. Hey, boy, our pass was coming, boy. We coming to eat. He has nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. I do like his visor. It's not every player that wears a black visor, but I do. I do appreciate one when I see it. This reminds me of Marshall and Lynch. By it actually looks fucking sick. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and the PP could stand for playoff perfect. Eight and in the playoffs. This boy undefeated in the playoffs. I'm glad I'm on. You're kidding me. He's only gone to two post seasons and he's won a Super Bowl each time. Have a look at that. 
2011 with the Giants, 2020 with Tampa Bay. That's incredible. Eight games played in the postseason, eight wins. 31 combined tackles, 25 solo, 6 assisted, 2.5 total sacks, 7 passes deflected, and 2 Super Bowl rings. I ain't never lose a playoffs game. I'm glad I'm on his team. Undefeated, baby. What more do you need to see from a guy to put him on the top 100? JPP need to be on his list. Nah, it should. He need to be on his list, man, for the season he had this past year. Damn, he won big human. Oh shit, there's the finger. Or the lack of. Holy shit, what about his thumb? His thumb's gone as well. He's lost the top of his thumb, he's lost his entire index finger, and he's lost half of his middle finger. Well thank god he doesn't have to catch the ball too often. He's one of the greatest teammates that I ever had. Brother for life, dog. Life. Champion, bro. Forever, brother. I appreciate you more than you know, dude. I already know. Two time, baby. Two time. Two time. Two time. Almost ten years apart. Or was it ten years apart? Nine years apart. Nine years apart. What an absolute legend. Come on, you family, bro. I told you we was going to do this. I love you, boy. Yeah, I tell you we was going to do this. Yes, boy. Yes. You happy? We won, man. Do you know what that means? Fuck, he's a giant. He is the big, friendly giant. And with that being said, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. Really enjoyed that one. In the next one, we're looking at Tyron Matthew, a.k.a. the Honey Badger who is dynamite on defense. He plays for the Chiefs and uh, and actually came up against the Bucks in the Super Bowl last year. So this whole thing's coming full circle, isn't it? And that's the great thing about it. So with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, plenty more content to come, so stay tuned. And I'll see you then. Peace out.